What's up? No. No. I have lost enough blood that if you put it in the sea, baby Jesus wouldn't be able to part it. Or was that Moses? Good luck, boys! Honey, what's going on? What's up? My name is Harper Rose. I'm a comedian and I guess content creator. If you want to check out my stand-up, I linked it down below. Get into it. Okay, honey. Pride month is coming to a close and I would be remiss if I went the whole month without talking about my favorite LGBT story of all time. The Thanksgiving where my MAGA uncle, my homophobic racist uncle, brought home a transgendered activist. And this was the best thing that ever happened to my family. Oh, let's get into it. So like I said, my me uncle is, if you watch my stand up, he's the uncle I talk about in there, lol lol. So quite the character, but you know, love him. <laughs> Anyways, it's Thanksgiving. Um, it's my cousin is bringing her boyfriend at the time over for the first time. I'm bringing my boyfriend at the time. <laughs> Everyone's bringing their partners over for the first time to grandma's house. Why is that important? because my uncle lives with my grandma, sweetie. Keep up! Ah! We all walk up and you have to enter through the backyard. And as we're rounding the little bend, we see this ballpark six foot four broad with the voice that you could hear through across five acres. And I go, oh, who is this? Open up the door, honey. It's Jolene my uncle's new girlfriend. Proud member of the LGBT community, get into it. And I go, oh, okay, okay, nothing wrong with that. Just a little curious that you are my, my devious uncle's date, but hey, maybe people can change. Okay, so we walk in and immediately Jolene is, <laughs> Bless her, she's, she's like, she's from another time. She's like, oh dear heart, get on over here and give me some sugar, dear heart. So that unfortunately is a perfect impression of my uncle's girlfriend at the time. And we go, oh, I've never been called dear heart before, but honey, yes, sure. And so we're like, oh, where did y'all, where did y'all meet? What's, what's, you know, What's the story here? What's the lore? And Jolene goes, oh, we met an AA. And I go, that's wild. Because my uncle legitimately still makes prison hooch in the toilet, rubbing alcohol, mouthwash, and fruit. So you do the math on that. And the next thing you know, Jolene has my cousin's new boyfriend sitting on the couch and she's like, JFK wasn't really assassinated, I'll tell you what. And we're like, this is gonna be good. You know when you just walk into an event and you just see all the characters are accounted for, you go, this, this, core memory. I could, I could feel it. So Jolene is roughly six foot four. We're, we're rocking a, a blonde wig that's seen better days. The lipstick, hey. We're all doing our best, but God bless her. I think the lipstick was applied with her non-dominant hand in the dark, and maybe she was battling um, rodents as she was trying to put it on, but it, it, it's all over, okay? It's it's like a Jackson Pollock um, painting. And so we were like, oh, all right. And then shoulder pads that might as well have been a uniform. Got my Jolene's on right now. But so, you know, that's that. Jolene, very friendly very thirsty for someone who's in AA, but I don't judge. I, I distinctly remember her having whiskey. Now, if one of my family members watches this, please fact check me, but I really feel like she was drinking whiskey. And then I know my dad specifically told me, he goes, it's time to get drunk. And then I go, well, so then my boyfriend and I, we start pounding wine. So we're like, what the damn hell? Like, what are you gonna do? 
Anyway, so we're all, we're all going through it. Then... <laughs> Then we're sitting around the table. Is this even okay to say? We're sitting around the table and we're going around saying what we're thankful for. My dad starts us off and you know, it's normal, it's boring. It's, dare I say, pleasant, which is very rare for my family. Then we get to our sweet baby, dear heart, Jolene. And Jolene goes, Oh, I just want to say, if anyone tries to attack this family, they're going to have to get through me. And she pounds her hands on the table. It rattles. And I was like, oh, girl, calm down now, girl, but thank you. Okay. And then that wraps up. I feel like there was something else, but honey, all I know is that we were just, we were having a, we were having a gag. And Jolene, she's friendly, you know, because... Usually, usually my uncle dates some women of the methy persuasion, of the not having all the teeth in the mouth persuasion, so if at all. So I was like, oh, all right, Jolene's rocking the full set. You know, the makeup's all in the face. You know, there's effort there. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so we're clearing the table. They, they scurry off, whatever. And then it's time for dessert. And Jolene comes out and she goes, oh! I said my uncle's name. Ooh! Oh, uncle just took me for a trip around the world. <laughs> Honey, it's the way that no one, we all just, we had to have a laugh because at that point, what are you gonna do? You want us to just be like, no, no, we, we said, what the hell? What the hell, girl? Like, come on. It was, so profoundly funny. And then she was saying about how her and, her and my uncle are gonna have a life together. And then we became Facebook friends and I saw that she's like an LGBT activist and I deleted Facebook and that's my biggest regret. I wish I didn't delete Facebook because I could have still been FB friends with Miss Girl. But um, unfortunately, life is not like the movies and they did not last. But the memory of her still has. And always will. So at the end of the day, if you're going to someone else's home for the holidays, honey, and you can tell that this might not be a forever thing, ooh, 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 I hope you play it up. I hope you would invent, I hope you invent a character so unforgettable that this family has no choice but to talk about you for all the years to come. Why are you hooking up with the man? As much as I was having a gag that night, I love how unapologetically herself she was. She was Jolene, dear heart. And I said, what is that accent, baby girl? But you know what, it doesn't even matter what the accent was. It doesn't even matter. It didn't matter that her, her hands had like extremely bulbous calloused knuckles. Like maybe she'd been in a fist fight or two. That didn't matter. It didn't matter that her purple pantsuit from the 80s was disheveled. It didn't matter that her and my uncle had a rendezvous in between meals. It didn't matter, damn it. Because at the end of the day, she brought that family closer together than we ever have or will be. And that's power. Happy pride. Now, do me a favor.